Hey guys, welcome back. So today's the day. Today is the final day of foundation frenzy. I decided for the last foundation frenzy day that I want it to be a really hyped up, really talked about, huge deal foundation that everybody and their mother has been talking about. So today we are testing the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I got this in the shade 120B Vanilla. So, yep, here he is. So the Faux Filter Foundation retails for $40, which for a high-end foundation is about standard. Um, I have had some more expensive range foundations this time around. I had one that was $58 and such. Um, it's obviously a pump. I don't know how I feel about the packaging. It's plastic, obviously. It's not a glass packaging, but I do like the fade that it has going on. I actually really like black ombre fade. I don't know why. Um, this comes in, oh geez, this comes in 30 different shades. It says on here it is good for normal, dry, combination, and oily, but not sensitive, so keep that in mind. Um, it is supposed to be a complete full coverage with a natural finish. It is listed as being a full coverage cream foundation that visibly conceals blemishes and imperfections for a filter-like finish. I have some redness, I have some freckles, so let's see. Um, I did not get the lightest shade for this one. Go away. Um, I actually got the third lightest shade. And actually, I'm kind of not regretting the decision because I have kind of a tan going on. Well, my sunburn's fading. The lightest shade is the shade Milkshake, which is 100B. Um, but I got 120 because it sounded about right for me. It lists as being fair skin tones with beige undertones. Now, I am usually more cool undertones, but the problem is the one above it, Angel Food, was ultra fair. And I know I'm not ultra fair, especially based on the pictures they've got of the people for each color. I was not the two lightest shade, so I went with 120B just because Panacotta for 130G was definitely golden, and I didn't want to go there. Um, right now on Ulta.com, uh, Ulta.com, on Sephora.com, the rating on this has actually dropped since I purchased this foundation. It used to be around 4.2 stars. It's now a 3.75 out of 5 with over 1,300 reviews. Okay, guys, so let's get started. I'm obviously doing this with both my IT Cosmetics brush that I've been using this whole time, and today I'm using my L'Oreal sponge just because he's recently cleaned. So let's go ahead. I have already primed my face with my Smashbox moisturizer. Primerizer. Um, oh, not quite as dark as it looked in the tube. Okay. We're going to do the brush on this side, sponge on this side. Let's go at it. Yeah, oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, I'm really glad I didn't get the lightest shade. And I also really hope this doesn't oxidize. Because that would suck really badly. This is already probably too light for me today. Ooh, it has a scent. I do not know if I like that scent. Well, this is definitely full coverage. And I, whoa, K Lord. Again, I'm not like all out blending. I think I did that in one of the previous videos and I apologize, I was not thinking my day through. I just kind of press and pull or stipple. Still not full coverage, those little bastards. I'm, I'm at my freckles by then, not Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty did a great job with the coverage on this though. I would definitely say they're still a teensy bit visible. They're not too bad. They're, this is definitely the best I've seen. Um, my nose has some weird dry patch that is just completely and totally flaking up right here. It's also clinging really weird on my nose in general. But aside from the color being definitely too light for me right now, it's okay. We'll just... Well, bronze, it's no big deal. It's obviously not covering my moles. Some of my bigger freckle, freckers, freckers, some of my bigger freckles are still peeking through and obviously so is the mole I have down here. So it's not 100% full, full coverage. I would say it's definitely high, medium, light, full, maybe. It's doing some weird patchy clinginess right up here, which was moisturized with the primer, so. Okay, let's go in and do the other side. I'm kind of proud of myself that the fact that I am not the latest shade in a foundation for once. It's kind of mind-blowing. So I still have a little bit left on my hand here. 
Let's go ahead with the sponge. See how great this coverage is. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna prefer the sponge side. I feel like the it's definitely dried down in some way because this I feel looks a lot darker than this and it can't be the light because I have both lights on right now. So this is definitely a great shade for me in the winter. <laughs> winter and late fall because Unless this oxidizes, please don't let this oxidize. Okay, I'm just gonna really quickly smooth over the other side really quickly, just to see if that helps some of these weird clinging patches that I've got. I really hope it does. Okay. So I would definitely, like I said, this is definitely a higher medium coverage or light full, I'd say that's an interchangeable term. It's it's blending out kind of patchy weirdly on my forehead and I'm not quite sure why. Maybe maybe the best way for this foundation, which doesn't sound ideal. I think that the best way of going about this foundation is definitely to apply it with a brush and then smooth out the blending with a sponge just because I feel like that's what's making this side look a little bit better. This side's looking kind of patchy and awkward and it definitely didn't cover my freckles very well over here, so. Yeah, if I build it up a little bit. Okay, building it up does completely cover my freckles. They're gone now, but I have to blend that out. So, I mean, I think it is possible to make this very full coverage. Do I need it to be very full coverage? I don't, I'm okay with the level it's at now. So, I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and I will check back in with you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, so my makeup is done. We are going to call the check-in time as eight o'clock because that was kind of when I finished doing all my foundation stuff. So we're gonna check, call check-in time as 8 a.m. Um, yeah. I did my, I did my what? My under eye concealer and my eye primer today is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chantilly. Worked really well with the shade of this foundation that I had. Um, and then I set my under eye and my entire face using the hourglass powder. This shouldn't be a surprise by this point in the series because I think it's been the powder I've used in every single video now. My brows are the ABH Brow Wiz in soft brown, I believe. My eyes are the ColourPop and Shayla Perception palette. Um, I've been playing with this a lot lately. I am planning on doing at some point after this series is over. Hopefully it will come to fruition, um, but I am planning to do a one palette three ways tutorial, so give me a thumbs up and tell me down below if you guys are excited about that. Um, but I used this on my eyes today. Um, my lashes are the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I am also wearing on my face. Oh, um, my lips are the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Satin Ribbon. This is like a perfect washed out nude on me. Um, I bronzed using this guy. It's been a while since I pulled this guy out. This is the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea. I love this dude. He has seen some better days, that is for sure. My blush is also another Too Faced product. I haven't reached for this in ages. This is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Baby Love. This is just a really nice, soft, peachy nude, which is great to go with this bronzer. And then obviously this blinding highlight we got going on is a Becca highlight. It's been forever since I've used a Becca highlight. This is my Holy Grail highlight in the shade Moonstone. Perfect yellowish tone champagne to go with a golden eye color. Okay guys, so check-in time's 8 a.m. I will see you guys around noon. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in with you guys. It's currently about 12.15 now. Um, so here's how the foundations look. My highlight on my nose is going strong today. Um, so here's the thing. This is definitely clinging still to my dry patches. It's not looking the greatest. Um, it's definitely looking like I'm wearing foundation. That's for sure. But I mean, here's the thing. When it comes to those really full coverage foundations, I feel like there's really no way around that. If you guys have, have ever used a foundation that you feel is complete and utter full coverage but doesn't look like foundation, tell me down below because I want to see how that looks and how that works. But um, my makeup's holding up pretty well. My upper lip is feeling heavy and it's kind of caking around my nose. My nose entirely, this dry patch, is basically flaked off already. Can you see this like little spot here? Um, the dry patches on the edges of my forehead are not looking so great. 
Um, I had some weird issues trying to adhere bronzer over here. As you can see, there's like a weird swoop line here, but the bronzer didn't stick here. I don't know why. It did over here, but it did not over here. Um, so yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. I'm not loving it, but I don't completely hate it. I'm kind of in an awkward middle ground with it right now. This lighting is not the most flattering. Um, so guys, it is currently 7.07 7 p.m. I have some thoughts on this foundation, that's for sure. Oh my god, this looks, it looks so bad now. Um, yeah, so I am definitely not super impressed. I'm gonna have to continue to try out this foundation. The bronzer in the center of my forehead is just straight up gone. I don't know where it went right here. It's only lingering here now. I don't know how well the lighting is showing that. Um, it's completely rubbed off on my nose, most of my face, like, I feel like my blush and my bronzer is just gone on one side of my face. I don't really know why, that doesn't make sense. Um, it feels so heavy. Like, it feels like I'm wearing a mask. Like, it may not look super cake face, but it feels really heavy, and that's, that's the worst thing for me with the foundation. I don't like that. I'm thinking right now I'm going to give this guy, here's the thing, we're judging it off of what it says it will do. It said it was a full coverage, which I'd say it was pretty darn full coverage. It didn't last very long, but it was full coverage. It doesn't feel, I think it said it was a lighter weight or weightless, something like that, foundation and sorry guys, I am so tired today. Um, so how long has this foundation been on? 8 a.m. check-in for 11 hours. It looks pretty good on camera for 11 hours, but to be honest, this camera doesn't really have a filter that I can turn off. At least when I turn it off, it still looks filtered, which is why I try to zoom you guys in when I can. But I feel like you can see all the texture all over my face. Nothing looks good. It's all settling. It's wiping off randomly. Um... It did not oxidize. That right now is the winning feature for me is this foundation did not oxidize. So maybe if I can sheer it out with moisturizer or a lighter weight formula, maybe I'll be able to make this a little bit more comfortable to wear. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of, yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. I ran out, did some errands today in the sweltering heat index going down in Chicago right now. It's absolute torture. You guys, you have no idea. So yeah, I'm gonna take this all off, take a shower, and I'm gonna go to bed really early. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys. I know I'm not in the best lighting for this right now, but I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this series. This has been a crazy thing to film and be on top of and I'm really proud of myself that nothing was delayed nothing happened um, but yeah be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you didn't see the whole series and this is the first video I will have the playlist for the entire series linked down below in the description bar so you can go ahead and watch now all 15 days um, so with today's upload I will see you guys in Monday right so since this should be Friday when this video goes up, so I will be seeing you guys in Monday's video. And we'll be back to doing something that is not foundation. <laughs> and don't forget to tune in, you guys, on, I believe it is on, you are going to be on July 20th, and I'm going to be uploading the full wrap up, me ranking all these foundations from 1 to 10, best to worst, whatever we want to call it, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm so tired. Um, be sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now that I'll be back to my regular uploading schedule on Monday of Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. I know these videos were all going up at 8, but it will be going back to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And be sure to follow me on my social media. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at kobeauty58. And yeah, I will... See you all in Monday's video. Bye.